You're watching Artist on Record, your ultimate intimate conversation with your favorite artist. In the hot seat, we have Don Dawkin. I'm 70 now. I think about my, you know, my uh, limited time here on this earth a lot at 70 mm. after this happened. And um, I just want to keep making music and go on stage. And like Lemmy said, I pray that I die on stage during the show. That's it. You know, that That's was it. Lemmy. And I just want to go on stage. And if I drop dead, that would be the most awesome way to go. Or he might have been happy even at the slot machine with his little oh, drink shit. Of by the rainbow. That <laughs> damn slot machine. In, in, in my time, you know, back for the slot machine was Pac-Man. That's right. <laughs> they had that little Pac-Man in the side thing by the bar. And, and you look, and I don't care who tried. Let me kill master. High score, high score, high All score. All the time. You know, it's funny you just said that. I remember that now. Yes. Nobody I mean, could kiss Lemmy, kick Lemmy's ass on that Pac-Man. No, not at all. I mean, you sit there for hours, and you can walk in any day of the week, and it goes, high score, Lemmy kill Mr. But nobody would bother him. He would sit there with his Jack and Coke. Just Tim, you knew not to touch him or bother the guy. You gave him his space. It was like the Fonz of the rainbow. And you know, the very first per person I ever met that when I say was famous was let me kill mister. I let him in. I met him in Hamburg, 1979 playing the top 10 club where the mm -hmm. Beatles became famous. And I was down in the bathroom taking pictures because the Beatles had all signed the wall Incredible. and they finally put a uh, plexiglass over it because people would fuck up their signatures. And there's like 20 people in there and we were playing there the next night. It's on the Reaper bond. That's where all the hookers hang out. So I walk up there and I see this one guy sitting at the bar. And no offense, Lemmy. And I see this guy with a big mole on his face, like big mole. And he's wearing a, you know, the cowboy hat. And I'm like, that looks like fucking Lemmy Kilmister. So I walked up to him and I give my, you know, it was 79, dude. Hey, buddy. My name's Don Doc, and I'm in a band, Doc, and we're playing here tomorrow night. You should come see us. And the Ace of Spades was just taken off. You know, they were just getting famous. That's right. And, and I'll never forget it. Like, it's like 9-11. It's like things that happen in your life. And he looks at me, and he goes, you buying? <laughs> 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 I'll never forget it. Oh, it's you awesome. buying? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm down in my last 50 marks. I'm like, I'm buying. And high bar stools and I sat there and just told him how much I loved him even before Motorhead when he was in the Hawkwind. Hawkwind, it was kind of progressive. Yeah. And we and when I said he was in Hawkwind, he was like, You have a Hawkwind record? I go, dude, I'm a hardcore musician. And we sat there, the sun was coming up. I'll never forget it. And I just almost fell off the bar stool. I was so shit faced from <laughs> trying to keep up with them, but I'd like no more. I can't drink anymore. I'm going to pass out. And that was my first experience in my opinion of meeting someone famous. And to Lemmy's credit, I didn't see him for three years. Uh -huh. And then Daka started to take off and he goes, Oh, remember you, you were at the top 10 club. I'm like, yeah. He goes, yeah, we hung out all night to, until you almost passed out. His memory. Good he remembered memory. me. And I would go to see Motorhead every tour before Mickey D mm -hmm. had left to Motorhead and Dawkins and, and, and Diamond. And there'd be security and bodyguards and get away from the bus. And I would just say to somebody, can you tell Lemmy, he'd be in the back. I said, can you just tell Lemmy Don Dawkins here? Man, 
They'd come out, pull, pull me through 30 people. I'd be on the bus in the back, nice and quiet, me and yeah. Lemmy. He remembered me and we were bros. Wow. The tree do 15 you. years later. And Lemmy and I became like brothers, you know? And then we started talking about music. Remember this band? Remember that band? Did you dig that band, Uriah Heep? And feeling, he going, feeling, with his, vo his voice going, feeling when I should have been crying. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that was a great song. <laughs> and we just talk music, man. And we sit there in the back of the bus till they're trying to leave. And it is a very spiritually fond memory. Lemmy and I became, remained friends to the end of his life. And the day he died, I was in Sweden at Mickey D's house in Copenhagen. And we we're sitting in a jacuzzi of all things. And me and Lemmy, you know, me and Mickey are sitting in a jacuzzi and we're the talking about this and that and how he loved being in Dawkins and and he got the call and he said let me pass and I wow. and uh, you know we had a really good cry yeah yeah it was yeah. really I'm a pretty I have pretty thick skin and I had you know and Mickey and I hugged each other in the jacuzzi <laughs> And we just hugged each other. And I said, I'm really sorry, man. I'm really sorry. Check out links are down below. My man, Don Dockin. We love you. I'll see everybody here later. And make sure you check out Dockin's latest album, Heaven Comes Down. That'll be out October 27th. This is the video, Gypsy. And if you want to see this episode right now unedited, become a member right here on YouTube. And make sure you put your comments down below. And also subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. We'll be releasing more episodes from Don. As always, who loves you, baby, we do.